All right, where we are going next? Um. I guess we can check this out, this is one way. Tombs and screws on the end of the city, so. That'll be our last stop, ladies and gentlemen. I'm also trying to see if I can find some more pages as well. I mean, I'm not trying to make it too long, this video, but uh, try to cover some good fairground. Explore a little bit, you know. Hey, look at what I found. Your butt back here. What's this? Oh, sharpen that axe. I found some money over here. Oh, it was two cents. Two Rebellion. gold dimes in there. Gold coins. What can you do with that, you know? Nothing else. Other than this chest. Can I go in this room? Yes. I thought it was going to be like one of them situations where you can't go in the store. Or you come in the store from a different way, but you can't get behind the counter. A loyal and kind cloak. I like that. We're gonna check that out. A little bit later. Actually. See where we go. The inventory stuff. Alright, stuff we grab. Tell you what about gear. Go back to gear. I have some new gloves earlier. Got the rugged dueling gloves. Nice. Black rivet glove. Oh, these don't fire. Keep them on. Do um yeah, They do give you trade abilities and stuff like that. That's what I was wondering. Okay. And you can also sell them for some cash. That's my headwear. Yeah, hold on, I thought it was going to be, uh, not a comparable, like a try-on type situation. Nah, Napoleon Stripe Scoff. Oh, cloaks and robes. Fire. Fire. I like that. Can I throw the big scarf on? Should I do it? Potions and magic. Plants that can be assigned to your tool will. Tools can be crafted at the potion station and potting table after purchasing potion recipes and seed packets and hogs meat. Tools can also be purchased from vendors. Also, you can have them at your ready, like on your thing. All right, that's cool. Do that. Don't want to do that. The visibility potion. Hmm. Felix Felius. Ah, who was that? I remember that potion too. Focus potions, uh, conjure magic, reason, okay. Awaken potion. Stench of death. How did I even know some of these things? Thunder brew. Maxima potion. Spider fang. I'm going to have to buy later or get later. 
Okay. All right, we're going to find some stuff, man. You know, about to make this zone popping. All right. The man fly now. Got the gold on. Black and gold. You know what I mean? Versace, Versace. Look at that, Versace. Versace all down, baby. <laughs> Come out the zone like that. What's that? I know Gryffindor had new colors. No, man, that's that Versace. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, I... about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Hmm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Hmm, powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh, dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um... We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Mm. Let's give this one a try. Only one, but... Oh, 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 my. oh, oh okay. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. It's a rare purple one, huh? Oh, another green box. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. You're not gonna tell me what type of wand it is, no? All right, so it's a spiral ash brown, black walnut dragon heart string, reasonable supply, thirteen inches. Okay, <clears throat> finalized wand. Can't do anything. Can't even rotate it. Actually, wrong controller. Um, okay, so we can change the color here. How intriguing! Mm, I like the gray, it's not bad. Curious indeed. The natural gray. The crooked spiral dark gray. The ring looks like a unicorn, John. How intriguing. Um come on. Curious indeed. Hmm. How intriguing. We kind of got variations as well. 
curious indeed. I like the dark gray. I'm gonna go with this, y'all. Wait, hold on. Let me fix the wood type too. Black walnut. How intriguing. Black thorn. Beech wood. Aspen tree ash. Apple. Alder. I see a. We got indeed. from black walnut, cedar, cherry, chestnut, cypress, dogwood, ebony, elder. Um, How intriguing! English oak, fern, hawthorn, hazel, holly, hornbeam, larch, laurel, maple. A lot of trees. I'm gonna run down all of them. Right you willow, one the second more. I would have to go with. Like an elder tree. No. How intriguing. Go to elder tree. Uh you can do Curious indeed. The sizes don't really change. I'm gonna stick with the thirteen inches, I like that. I don't really understand the length and how that works and what I, mean, I don't even understand the wood type, but if I had to expect, you know, the better the trees, the better the wood, or, you know, the long lasting the spells might be, or something like that. So maybe the elder tree, you know, got more magical powers in it, could last longer. The length I'm not understanding, I think it's just about how tall you are, or proportion to your body. How intriguing. Oh, that's it. Yeah, it's supple. Oh, all right, that's a supple. I don't understand that. Swishy, springly, swishy, Curious quite flexible, indeed. flexible. Fairly bendy. Quite bendy. Why does this... What? Still free, unbending. How intriguing. Whipping. I mean... How would this... A dragon heart string phoenix feather. Imagine. Hair of a unicorn that serves a core of a wand known for producing constant magic. Dragon heart string that serves a core of a wand known for producing powerful magic. And then a phoenix, a core of a great range of magic. Um, I will go between powerful and phoenix feather. I feel like phoenix feather is a balance. Meaning that you can scale between these two. You have a great, which, which, which would probably allow you to get, you know, stronger moves or more consistent moves. And this one will give you more powerful moves, but they might not they do a lot of damage, but it'll take up a lot of, you know, magic. Whereas this one here, the Phoenix Feather, will kind of give you like a balance of those three. That's what I'm going with. So. Later. I would I will go with the I, I think I want to go with the Phoenix feather. Ah Phoenix feather exceptionally rare and a core with a strong sense of initiative. Mm hmm. Hmm. A unicorn hair wand is most reliable and faithful to its owner. Not coming to say anything about the dragon though. Curious indeed. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sense the sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a Phoenix Feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions. 
particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Rebellion! Put up the tracker for me automatically. All right, so we're gonna head to the tomb shop next, and I think that is the one here. Right? Yeah. I should think a house elf doesn't work as hard as me. Oh, here, my Versace. I'm just looking around. I, I want to find more pages. I might have to check a couple shops too. Let to go page right there. Five out of eight so far. Look, they got another one. Six out of eight. No, five out of eight. So been six out of eight. I see another. I don't know. Let me see. That's a cat. I'm thinking there like what? Like a servo cat, actually. They go another page. Right, that's six out of eight. What are you trying to get, dude? Did the bird just. I told you not to go down that path. Miss Peck from Brood and Peck said a customer lost a Deeracle around here. I know we're not supposed to go down there. I just thought... You could have got us in a lot of trouble. Very sorry, Father. Only she said I might earn a reward. Uh, instead, I just wasted our time. There you are! Ha! Huh, finally! I'll have enough for that wind wisp. Ah, well, not meant to be. Also, I may have knocked over a dustbin back there. Never mind, I'll fix it, as always. I wonder if I can catch that bird. Would it, uh. I'll be able to get a reward, you know, for that. Because. There go another page. There go another page. Come here, little page. Alright, let me get that. Seven out of eight, baby. Let's see if I can find the last one. I don't know what I'll watch this. All right, now you can't see me. I'm gonna get that one. Like, if you locked it when you get to him, right? He locks it when he gets to you. So it's like. Hmm. It's gonna be a spell to slow you down or something. There you go the last page. Oh snap! That's the last page. All eight, baby. All eight, baby. All eight, baby. All eight, baby. How you do it? You gonna check this honey big shop? Put this down real quick. You walking in people's shops, eating stuff. Let me get all this. Eating the cake. Maybe later you'll come here for something. That ain't up in here now. I don't think. Rebellion.
sizzling whiz bees. These delicious sweets, rumored to contain big billy wig stings, are small sherbet balls that, when consumed, will levitate one off a few inches off the ground. Okay. You think else in here I should be aware of? Like that big old chest in there? How do you get in there? How do you get to the big old chest? Eating cake along the way. Or another door. It's locked. Rebellion. Bag of money. Let me get that. Exploding bonbons. Okay, why would you? Okay. Crazy. Exploding bonbons, though? Cotton candy machine? Wow. That's... That was it. It didn't actually make the cotton candy. It's weird. I wouldn't even eat that cotton candy. Like, looks alive. Like, legitly alive. Rebellion. See nothing else poking up. Like, do you guys hear that? Collected all the pages in this job. I wonder if I got like fifteen field guide pages and holes, me. Inquiring mind. Thomas Brown. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture, or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spell crafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? I need a small potion st station. And potting table with small pot spoker. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my infantry. T shaped potion station spoker. Oh, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. A lot of stuff I can't afford. Okay. So that would be neat. And then we're going to go meet Natty at the circle. Town circle. I don't know about central, but there hasn't been a dragon in history. Is it worth it? 
I actually want to check out the joke shot real quick. Because they had any scrolls or anything up here. I hate to wet. Everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. from the building. 